tea? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having me. I do is collect digital parts. So do I. I keep mine in here. My Digimon Collector's Box 2 has arrived. It is a quite a long boy. The Tamer's Evolution Box 2. I never did an opening of the first Tamer's Evolution Box. I can't even remember why, but this is where this mat came from, was the original Tamer's Evolution Box. Things to note with this box is that they don't come with packs. They are a storage box, a play mat, and alternate art cards only. So I'm interested to see if you get the Japanese alternate art cards for this. I don't think so. In the original box, the Tamers Evolution one, you got the English alternate arts and the Japanese alternate arts in the same box. For this one, I believe it's English only, but we, we will find out. All right, how, how get this out? No, it's a flap, right? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's okay. So it's very, very neatly packaged. It was probably better to go along the long stem, to be honest. Should have done that originally. Yeah, should have done it that way. Okay. Uh, cardboard. Tamer's Evolution Box 2. Very, very nice. Okay, you can see this is a long, long boy. This is a very long boy. And it gives you everything that you get here. Playmat, storage box, sleeves, card case. Oh, interesting. Okay, deck separators, memory gauges, acrylic markers, 50 sleeves and five digi eggs, and then some eight alternate art cards. So, come on. Come on, let me in. Just let me in. Just, just let me in. It's been long enough. Let, let me in. Let me in. Let, let me in. Let, let me, let me in, please. Right. There it is in all its long boy glory. <laughs> yeah, Royal Knights maybe? Are these all the Royal Knights? No, because there's no Alpha on there. There's probably a reason why these are all together. I'm just ignorant and an idiot and I don't know. But it's really cool artwork. And as we open it up, so this is the old storage box. So there's some cardboard there, I guess, to keep everything in. And there we go, memory gauge. Memory gauge? Yes. Very, very nice. The only thing with these memory gauges is that I kind of wish the playmats had the memory gauges on them to be usable. But saying that, the memory gauges would ruin this artwork. And that is some very, very, very nice artwork. I will not be replacing this just yet. Having the original seven Digimon there does hit nostalgic notes that I'm not quite ready to let go of yet. But this is a very, very nice artwork with some of my favorite Digimon on there, especially that Gallantmon and that Wargreymon. Okay, and then we get the storage box. So I'm guessing the alternate art cards are sitting in this art. Oh, look at that, so cute, this little boy here. So this is like the store, the storage box, yep. Yeah. Can you, can you see that? There we are, can you see? Yep, yeah, that's, 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 that's the storage box basically. I'm gonna gently put that down rather than throw it. So this is the deck box and if I, okay, oh, more plastic. Well, I guess you gotta keep it safe. This is a little bit easier to get rid of as well. It is a very nice deck box. I do like the detail of having the little pixels and then like the kind of the more standard art that we're used to. And I believe that this is all of the alternate art cards that we get from this box, I'm assuming. Okay, so these are the sleeves. So those are the standard sleeves and are the eggy sleeves in there? I think so, let's have a look. Yes, there we go. Oh, the little baby Digitama sleeves. That is very cute. I really like that. I will definitely be using these at some point. Those are too cute not to use for your children, your Digimon children. Okay, a, a single acrylic card divider, cool. I guess. Okay, and these are the alternate art cards that you get. Oh no, wait, there's there's a little thing as well. So that's like for you to use for, on your memory gauge. Yeah. So these are the these these are the alternate arts. And I am really looking forward to seeing these. Okay, this feels like a chunk. I think it is only eight though. Look at these. See? <laughs> these are definitely worth it. These are 
stunning. Just have a look here at the detail. This Agumon, this really, really nice looking Agumon, with the incredible detail of having his final evolution form in the background. I do very much dig that. I think this may be a running theme. I feel like we have the original form and then the mega form sitting in the back as a consistent theme for these alternate arts. Oh yes, here we go. Shoutmon with Shoutmon DX. Is that Shoutmon DX? Is that what he's called in the background? I am not sure. But these alternate arts are very, very lovely. And they're using different artists as well. The artists are not the same. There's my little bread boy. There he is with Gallantmon or Dukemon in the back. And our little Vmon with Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. I think that's Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode sitting at the back. Yeah, it's nice to see actually all of these different artists rather than having the same ones. Another Agumon. Oh, with- oh yes, this is the one that goes into Shine Greymon, right? Oh, look how cool! Look how cool that is! Gossan doing a lovely job there with his artwork. And oh, little Wormon. Oh, Wormon! <laughs> with Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. In the background, I think that's what it's called, Dragon Mode. And oh, look at that win rate! Win rate 60%! Oh, look at that! Oh, that is cool! That is cool! Oh, look at all the detail of all the different Digimon, all of them there. Agumon, Gilmon, Vimon, Agunimon, Shoutmon, Wormon, and the other Agumon sitting in the back. These eight art cards are very, very lovely. The only one, the one sad thing I would give these cards is that they are matte, like they're matte finish, rather than textured. I think if they were textured, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they, they would be the most perfect thing. But this is a lovely product, especially if you're, I mean, if you're a collector, I mean, you get all of these lovely cards to collect and put in your binder, which I'll be doing shortly after this. I mean, if you collect sleeves, I mean, these are some very lovely sleeves to collect. Get some, a nice dex box, nice sleeves, and your card divider to help, um, like, differentiate between your side deck, if we're still doing that, from your main deck in your deck box. Very nice product. I definitely recommend picking this up. I think they only did one print run, maybe two print runs of that first original Tamers Evolution box, and then didn't do any more. I have a feeling you'd only gonna get one maybe two of this so if you want it get it now while it's still in stock and still available but otherwise if you're not interested in those alternate art cards and don't really play don't feel bad about missing out on this product no big deal